Okay, so today our grammar lesson is uh, adverbs. Okay, now we, we have spent some time um, looking at verbs, nouns, adjectives and so on. And last week we also did a little bit on verbs, not last week, two weeks ago, we did a little bit on verbs and adverbs. So we're going to look at those adverbs a little bit more fully. So what is an adverb? An adverb is something that tells you where, why, or how something is done. Or you could, I would always say it's a describing word and it describes a verb. But anyway, so Camilla crossed the road safely. Safely is in blue there. That's the adverb. Safi's horse bravely jumped over the hurdle. The man drove his car everywhere. So the first one, safely, is how um, Safi's horse bravely is also how the man drove his car everywhere is where. It's even got the word where in everywhere. Many adverbs end in L-Y, but not all of them. Similarly, not all words which end in L-Y are adverbs. So... Uh, ly is a clue but it's not definitive it's not absolute so here we're going to sort the adverbs keeping in mind that an adverb is something that tells you where why or how something is done sort the following words into the correct boxes so we've got adverbs and not adverbs angrily lonely friendly very, ugly, the, well, cruelly, bully. So you notice that there's lots of L-Y words there, but there's a few, there's three in the middle that are not L-Y words. So angrily, we'll use the sentence, he did it angrily. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Does that mean that angrily is a, an adverb? No, I don't know what happens here. Yes, it is. I just click on it and it goes into the correct box. Lonely. He did it lonely. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. It would be, the adverb would actually be lonelyly, but that isn't really a word. So it's not an adverb. He did it ugly. Ugly is not an adverb. He did it cruelly. Or he cruelly did it. It works either way. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. He did it never or he never did it. Does that make sense? Yes, it does. Oh, it clicked the wrong one. Friendly. I meant to do never. Well, friendly has been done. He did it friendly. No. He did it very. He very did it. No. Oh, very is going into the adverb. How is that? Hmm. That is a that is a shock to me. I'm going to be honest. I don't understand how very is an adverb, but okay. He did it the. That doesn't make sense. He did it well. That does make sense. Oh, it's gone to bully. It's done the wrong one. And he did it bully doesn't make sense. So, very, I'm confused about um, myself. I might have to look into that. Okay, spot the adverbs. Read the sentences below. Spot the adverb that says how, why, or where the verb was done okay so number one make sure you climb the ladder safely well actually the word this the adverb in that one has already come up uh, let's go to the cinema today so we're looking for how when or where i hope you're not thinking cinema because it's a where cinema is a noun it's today Usually my parcels arrive on time. And she looked at her friend cautiously. So how does it work here? 
Did you notice that not all of the adverbs ended in L-Y? Is it going to... Oh, it does it for us now. There we are. So safely, we knew today, usually, that's an L-Y one. And cautiously is also an L-Y one. Okay. Read the sentence below. Add an adverb to say how, when, or where the action in the sentence was being done. Um, I'm not going to do this one for you. This is one that you can just do orally. You don't have to write it down. The fox ran something beneath the bushes. Millie something did her homework. Um, the police officer something gave evidence in court. And Keisha said thank you. I don't, um, that's a funny sentence because I want to say somebody's name. Thank you, Mrs. Cullen. I want to put somebody's name in there. Um, okay, which would not be an adverb. So, the fox ran quickly beneath the bushes. Millie carefully did her homework. The police officer clearly gave evidence in court. He should have said thank you. Happily. Okay. That's just examples. Okay, add an adverb. The great thing about adverbs is that there are lots of different ones. Um, so we can do... Here are some suggestions. They'll be different to mine. Fox, timidly. I said quickly. Timidly is a much better word, obviously. Millie carefully did her homework. I think that's the one I used as well. The police officer... Confidently, I said clearly, gave evidence in court. The funny thing is, I would put my, I wouldn't put, the police officer gave evidence confidently in court is how I would say that sentence, but okay. And Keisha said, thank you, reluctantly. I said happily, the opposite of reluctantly. Okay, which adverbs did you choose? Does selecting different adverbs change the whole meaning of the sentence? Yes, it does. So the fox ran happily. The fox ran sl uh, slyly. Millie carelessly. Mwah. That's a naughty one. Um, thoughtfully, slowly, quickly. The police officer angrily. Maybe it was a terrible crime and the police officer um, was angry thinking back. Okay, I'm not going to do any recordings on this. We're not going to do this slide. Okay, so there's going to be a passage here. Uh, again, just as I read through it, see if you can spot the adverbs as we go. Um, this is suggesting that you write them on a whiteboard. I'm assuming that most of you don't have a whiteboard at home, but if you want to try and work them out on a piece of paper, you can do that, and then the answers will come up at the end. This would be so much more fun if we were in the classroom, because this is quite dull when it's kind of like this. We could actually have quite a lot of fun doing these activities in the classroom. But this is dull, dull, dull. Okay. In the summer holidays, Michael happily uh, painting a picture when his mum... Michael was happily... Sorry, I'm a terrible reader. When his mum asked him if he could quickly go to the shop. She wanted him to go now... As she needed him to go quickly because she ne lots of needed she needed some more milk immediately. Michael carefully agreed because he goes to the shop regularly and enjoys riding his bike safely to get there. This is the third time we've had safely in this um, PowerPoint. It's not that interesting a word, I'm afraid. Michael soon set off to the shop. He was constantly checking for cars and never stopping for a break. 
He merrily bought the milk and enthusiastically paid the shopkeeper. Sneakily, he bought a bar of chocolate to hungrily munch on his way home. He got chocolate everywhere. Okay. In the summer holidays, Michael was happily painting a picture. That's the top line. Did you get any of those? I wonder what's going to happen. Oh, it's all coming up together. Uh, happily there. When his mum asked him if he could quickly go to the shop, she wanted him to go now. That's not an L-Y one. Uh, as she needed him to go quickly because she needed some more milk immediately. Michael cheerfully agreed because he goes to the shop regularly and enjoys playing, riding his bike safely to get there. I don't think I read that bit the first time around. So there's another one that isn't an L-Y. Michael, soon no L-Y, set off to the shop. He was constantly checking for cars and never, never's come up already, stopping for a break. He merrily bought the milk and enthusiastically paid the shopkeeper. Sneakily, he bought a chocolate bar to hungrily munch on his way home and he got chocolate everywhere and there's another one without an ly so most of these have got ly's but not all could you change the adverbs to give some of the sentences a different meaning in the summer holidays michael was Sadly painting a picture when his mum asked him if he could immediately go to the shops. She wanted him to go now. I can't change that one now that I've said immediately. As she needed him to go quickly because she needed some more milk. Uh, uh, I should have gone... Michael was sadly painting a picture. His mum asked him if he could go soon, if he could soon go to the shop. She wanted him to go earlier as she needed him to go fast because she needed some more milk today. Michael angrily agreed because he goes to the shop um, often and enjoys riding his bike um, riskily to get there. So that would mean like uh, doing wheelies. I can't think of a word to use instead of riskily. Uh, Michael later set off for the shop he was um randomly checking for cars and regularly stopping for a break he slowly bought the milk and um reluctantly paid the shopkeeper cheekily ah, he bought a bar of chocolate to slowly munch on his way home he got chocolate i can't think of another word that you could say there he got chocolate everywhere if you've got a good story with different adverbs better than mine i'd be happy to see it but that is not essential that is not the task now it's your turn look at the this is your job look at the sentences below no look at the pictures below here they are and write a sentence to go with each one that contains an adverb and what I want you to do is underline the adverb so that I know that you know it's the adverb okay or you don't have to underline it put it in a different color do something to it so that you're showing me this is the adverb okay underlining is easy because if you're changing color you have to put down one pencil pick another if you want to do that I'm happy with that I don't mind. Okay, share your sentences with... Well, it says share your sentences with class. No, just send them to me on Seesaw. Okay, 
Here's a quick quiz. Which word is the adverb in the sentence is it important to apply sun cream regularly on sunny days? So we've got important, regularly, apply. So two of them are L-Y and important is not. Right, say your answer. Three, two, one. And the answer is, of course, regularly. Okay, Important is an adjective and apply is a verb. Next one. <clears throat> which word which is word is the adverb in this sentence? Brown bears are usually found in Canadian forests. Found brown usually. So there's only one L Y here. Found brown usually. Okay, three, two, one and say your answer. Three, two, one. And it is, of course, usually. So brown is an adjective, found is a verb, usually is the adverb. And this one, the timid mouse poked his nose from behind the cupboard inquisitively. So we've got inquisitively, out and behind. Okay, three, two, one. And the answer is, of course, inquisitively. Out and behind are both prepositions. Okay, that's the end. So I'm looking for those sentences with your adverbs clearly marked somehow. You decide. And don't forget your capital letters and your full stops. Okay.